everyone. Welcome back to Mom and Me Beauty. Today we will be talking about our favorites and hates for the month of March. So if you're new here, click the subscribe button to be notified of all of our new videos. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, we call our favorites for the month, yes, please. And my first yes, please for the month is this Makeup Revolution um, highlighter. This is one of their new ones. It's the Skin Kiss, and this is in Peach Kiss. This stuff I actually have on today. I love it. I've been using it every single day this month, practically. Uh, when you open it up, it's a, quite a large pan, um, and it swatches so beautifully. And when you swatch it, it's like a nice pinky peach color. This actually works really great as an eyeshadow, too. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to hit pan on this because really like it's massive. It is so big, but um, it's definitely buildable and um, you can go light handed on it or like I said, you can build it up to be full on bling. So really great product. Love it. Okay. The first favorite for me is the Smashbox Cover Shot Eyeshot Palette in Metallic. Now this is a very, very natural palette it, that's surprising because it is a metallic palette but even though it is metallic when you open it up they don't look that you know metallic they look more sparkly than metallic and they are really nice colors the color that really drew me to this palette was this nice kind of i want to call it almost rose gold copper i thought it was really really pretty and i, I can do a whole a whole eye look with this, which I really love in the packaging. I love the packaging. When you close it, it looks like you've got some makeup exploding. I think that's just so cool. And also, it is really small, so it does fit in to my makeup drawers quite nicely. Next product that is one of my favorites for the month of March is actually a surprising find for me. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is What Would Lizzie Do? Um, she's fantastic. She actually recommended this to everyone on one of her videos. Uh, it's the Ulta Beauty Color Correcting Liquid Concealer. And I will link that video in the description box below for you if you want to check it out. In any case, I have very dark circles underneath my eyes and I also have some hyperpigmentation spots at the corner of each eye. So uh, I'm really, I was really interested to find something that was going to color correct but be relatively easy to use. So when you open it up, it looks just like a doe foot applicator like on a um, tart shape tape and um, it's actually very pigmented, very, very creamy and so that's swatch and then when you blend it out you can see how much coverage it gives you and color correcting so uh yeah this stuff really is great it doesn't crease it doesn't budge it doesn't move it holds all day long uh yeah it's really great and they have a couple of other, other colors i have the green one which i'm still testing out um, on my red patches on my cheeks they have yellow and i think pink as well uh, very affordable. Go check it out. Okay, my next favorite is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the color Coral Corruption. Now, my mom did get these before me, so I was like, oh, I have to try one out. So I found this one at CVS, and I thought it was really, really pretty. It is a nice, mm, I want to say corally pink, and when you swatch it, it does turn out watery in my opinion. I do like it except for the wateriness. Now for me it is hard to apply because it is so liquidy but I just think that color is so pretty and when this color dries down it is lighter than it appears wet. And they also don't budge once they dry down and they set like there's no chance where you can you know kiss your fingers and it's the the color is not going to go anywhere and they do fade pretty nicely throughout the day so it's not like you have to reapply every single hour or two or you know after you eat okay next product up for me that's one of my favorites for the month is the covergirl true naked roses eyeshadow palette these colors are like everything to me i am so stuck in a pink and mauve 
um, phase right now, as you can see by my eye makeup today. Like I, I just can't get away from it. So um, I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised by these colors. They are, all of them, very creamy, which is you know, one of the biggest surprises to me because you would expect creamy eyeshadows to be your luxury or prestige brands, not your drugstore brands. So these are just four of the colors. And so you've got a nice matte here and this color I've been using just about every day. I actually have it in my crease today. And then um, there's a couple of shimmers and then there's another matte. That one's really close to my skin tone, but you can pick it up a little bit there. So um, anyways, the, the shimmers that are in here, so I swatched this shimmer and this shimmer, they are so pigmented. They're not just, you know, glitter or pearlescent powder. They actually have pigment to them. And then the, the, even the ones over here at the end that are darker that have sparkle, more sparkle in them or more glitter as opposed to pearlescent powder, even those are highly, highly pigmented. And when you put them on um, wet, oh my goodness, the color just intensifies that much more. So yes, I am totally in love with this palette. My only gripe is that the powders do tend to be a little chalky or a little powdery, if you will. So uh, I recommend that you do your eyes first if you're gonna use just this palette or you're afraid of um, quite a bit of fallout. Uh, but the lighter colors, really, I can brush them away with um, any makeup brush and they don't leave any color or pigment behind. So, highly recommend this. My next favorite is the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. Now this is really, really tiny. It's nice that it's tiny, but the pans are just a little too small. So when you open up the palette, it smells like actual white chocolate. Now, the main reason why I liked this palette was because of the gold shimmer in this palette. And it is very, very smooth and shiny. I love that color, especially. So I'll be using this like every day for school. And I'll use that color all over my lid. And then I will use the light brown. right there as my crease color. This color is also very nice. They are very pigmented eyeshadows and they smell like white chocolate, like no joke like white chocolate. The only gripe I have about this is the small eyeshadow pans, just because I, I mean, I have a small eyeshadow brush, but it just fits. And the only other thing I don't like is it was $23. It's a nice palette, but I feel like it could have been a little bit cheaper. My next favorite for the month of March uh, was also a surprise to me. Another one of my favorite YouTubers, her name is Jessica Braun. I will also link her channel down below for you. Um, she turned me on to this mascara. It's by Essence. It's the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And I picked this up at the, my local Ulta. Um, so this stuff is fantastic. So the claims all across social media and YouTube is that this is supposed to be a dupe for benefit their real uh, roller lash mascara. I don't own that so I can't testify to that but I will tell you that this stuff is fantastic. It definitely lengthens my lashes, spreads them out, and gives them volume at the same exact time. Now, uh, when I first got it, I couldn't wait. I had to bust into it. Now, I've had it now for at least two weeks, I think now three. And the first week or two, I was like, yeah, well, this is fantastic. But now that it's dried out a little bit, it's blown my mind that much more. So um, Jessica did recommend in one of her videos that you do let it dry out for you know two or three weeks and then you'll get the maximum results from it. And I can absolutely say that is absolutely true you really do need to let the tube dry out for two to three weeks in order to see the full um, effect and the full potential of this mascara but it cost i think something like 4.99 3.99 something like that but it's fantastic i love it i reach for it just about every day okay and the last favorite is actually a favorite of both of us it's the exact same product these are the new milani <laughs> amore lip colors uh, these are their Amore Matte Metallic Lip Creams. I have the Cinematic Kiss in number four. 
I also have that color and then I also have a uh, prismatic touch number 12 which is what I have on today and number 13 over dramatic um, so I'll swatch these for you while Emma talks about them so with this one I have two colors but this one really impressed me it's really a really dark pink but it's just dark enough to wear to school which I'm so happy about because I like darker lip colors and that's what this is now Another perk to this is it is metallic and that's all the rage right now in the YouTube and beauty world. And also they dry down completely matte so they stay on your lips all day and really, really do look good after a good amount of wear time. So this one is definitely a favorite for me, especially pairing with my Too Faced white chocolate chip palette and so this is the cinematic kiss which is what um, Emma has and I also have the next one down is the prismatic touch which is what I have on my lips today and then the last one is over dramatic um, and they have plenty more colors in this line I want to say there's at uh, least another five or six colors um, in this line all of them are stunning. All of them are transfer proof, kiss proof. See, there's absolutely no transfer whatsoever. Uh, once they dry down, they're set. Another thing that I find very, very good about this formulation is the mousse consistency that uh, you feel when you put, the, put it on your lips. It feels like whipped mousse, like you're putting that across your lips. Um, one downside to it is I do feel like by the end of the day that my lips are a little bit extra dry. Really like it's after you know eight to ten hours of wear is when I start to feel that dryness on my lips. Otherwise I'm fine all day long and I don't feel like I have to apply a balm or a gloss over it. So Okay our next segment is called Are You Kidding Me? And that's for the products that we do not like. So my first are you kidding me? Is the Aussie Total Miracle Dry Shampoo, and it's seven in one. I did not like this at all. The first time I used it, the first time, my hair was so dry and brittle, if that makes sense. Right now it's really soft and really nice, but with that, it makes my hair so brittle and just Oh, it, it didn't do anything good for me. I do like the packaging though, but that doesn't really matter. Now it does work for my mother because I passed it along to her to see how it works and what are your thoughts? I actually used it today and it's a little shocking because Emma has got thick, much, much thicker hair than I do. Not only is the shaft of her hair, like an individual hair, thicker and wider but she's got more hair per square inch so um, for her to say that it made her hair drier and more brittle I thought well great that's gonna happen to me but I used it today and I still feel like my hair is manageable um, it does feel a little bit drier but you know it's a dry shampoo is going to absorb all the oil excess oil in your hair I'm wondering if the reason why I've had better success with this is because I use um, two other products in my hair on days that I shampoo. So yesterday I shampooed. Um, I actually did a video about that last week, so I will link that in the cards up, up uh, right up here in the corner for you and also in the description bar below. Um, and you can see in that video that the two products that I use, one is by Pantene and one is by L'Oreal, they're to help give my hair volume. So obviously on a day like today when I don't shampoo, I still have some of those products in my hair. So I'm wondering if maybe that it works better for me because of that. Okay, my first are you kidding me for the month is uh, actually a sample size that I got in Birchbox, I think it was, uh, last month. So I will also link that video down below if you'd like to check that out. Um, this is the Air Repair Super Hydrating Eye Cream. Um, and so this eye cream, I have tried it a couple different times and it actually stings my, the skin underneath my eyes. Like I feel like that part of my eye is on fire. Um, I've tried it over top of my regular moisture. I've tried it without any moisturizer. You name it, I've tried it. Doesn't work for me, don't like it. My next, are you kidding me for the month of March? 
is the CoverGirl Brow Plus Liner Powder. Um, I don't know if this is new to the market. Um, not exactly sure when it came out, but I've had it now for I think like two months. This stuff, it's almost like colored baby powder. And the applicator is actually pretty strange. It almost looks like a felt tip, um, Q-tip without the bushiness at the end. And so the idea of this is to actually line and fill in your brows with the powder that's on here. The powder that's on here is uh, in consistency a lot like baby powder. That being said, it goes everywhere. Everywhere that you don't want it to be. Like I, I've, I ended up getting raccoon eyes every single time I tried this. It was awful. It is so bad. <laughs> I could not get this powder to work to save my life. And my final, are you kidding me, for the month of March is the Tarte Man Eater uh, Mascara. Now I've had this also for a couple of months. Um, there's nothing really new. I mean, it's got your standard spoolie at the end, except that the uh, fingers that are coming off the spoolie are quite small in, in length. They're quite short. Um, and they do feel a little bit silicone-y as opposed to a regular spoolie, which feels almost like it's... Um, almost like it's covered in the same material that a pipe cleaner is covered in. The formulation of the actual mascara product doesn't really do anything. And I, oh my gosh, I have used this over and over and over again. I've tried it on its own. I've tried it with primer, without primer, combined with other uh, mascaras. I can get no length and virtually no volume from this mascara. I, I really, guys, I've tried. I let it dry out for a couple of weeks. I used it right away. Like, it just won't work for me. It does absolutely nothing. I just, I could not make it work. And I'm so disappointed because I really, really like Tarte products, but didn't work for me. So, Emma wants to try it and we'll see if hopefully she has better results than I did. <laughs> And that is it for this month's favorites and hate it's for the month of March. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. And Emma and I are so excited that this channel is growing and we are meeting so many new people. It seems like every single week we get a new subscriber, a new friend, a new person that we can connect with and share our, our love of all things beauty with. So. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and also make sure you hit that bell right next to it so you're notified every time we upload a new video. We do upload twice a week. On Mondays is Mom and Me Day and on Thursdays is either Teen Take with Emma or Mom Moment with me. Don't forget to connect with us on Instagram under Mom and Me Beauty and with Emma under Emma underscore N underscore 2004. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. It does help us out too. And leave a comment section in the box below and let us know what your favorites and hate it's were for the month of March. We'll see you next time in our next Mom and Me video. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.